Cheap Chinese emulation crap like this has been around for a long time. I even remember back in like, I think it might have been like the late 90s, late 90s-ish. You would go to the mall and they would sell stuff like this, including those, do you remember those uh, Nintendo 64 controllers that had AV cables? You plugged them into your TV and they played uh, NES games. Like, I don't know whatever happened to those things, but I remember seeing those like late 90s, early 2000s maybe. And uh, this thing, we're gonna be taking a look at this today and tearing it down. We gotta see what makes this thing tick. But this is the cool Syrah 268 and one. Now, I didn't buy this thing. My mother-in-law gave me this some months ago and I forgot all about it, I set it aside. But she told me that she ordered this online. I don't know if it was like Wish or Facebook, some kind of post on Facebook or something. But thankfully she didn't spend much money, it was just a few dollars. But when she got it, she said, this is ridiculous. This isn't like what I ordered. The thing that she saw was like a lot more awesome looking handheld, had like Super Mario Odyssey on it, uh, Street Fighter, you know, they hyped it up. And they always do that. They make the things seem awesome and then they're junk. So I wanted to take a look at this thing. Now look at this package. I tried my best to translate this stuff with like Google Translate with my camera. And some places, it, I think it says something like, oh, the screen like is great quality, won't hurt your eyes. Uh, how, you're gonna be happy with this thing. Down here it says that it has iPhone, uh, Nintendo, Sega, and arcade games built in, 268 and one. I don't know how they would have iPhone games in this little piece of junk that feels like it weighs two ounces. Whatever that game is, is not gonna be on there. All this stuff, I have no clue, dude, but 268 and one, these things have been around for a long time. Let's go ahead and get this thing. It's just a not sealed clamshell. Oh, there was more back there. I could have tried translating. Well, that's like a warning. Not sure what that says here. Freeze frame it if you want to uh, try to translate that. Not sure what it all says. 4.5 volts. I, I, it's probably just some basic warnings. Don't drop this in a pool or something. I don't know. But there it is. Really light. Little tiny, maybe like inch and a half screen. D-pad. You know, and the D-pad like moves that little button around. Like everything's got to be connected. What is it? Like a little fake analog stick, but it's a button. Reset button and a non-marked button. And they move when you press like one of them. Moves the other one. Same thing with the, the buttons. Wow, these buttons are like way too close to each other. No, uh, you know, shoulder buttons, mono speaker, and looks like four screws. We'll get this thing open in a moment, but I did grab some batteries for this thing. iPhone games, Sega, arcade, Nintendo, I mean, for sure NES, like, that's a given. I'm assuming that's power on. Uh, okay, whew. Looks like it's not gonna power on. Uh, that's reset. Oh, that's volume. One, two, three. So three levels of volume and then off. Okay. Oh, SP, so I'm, okay, that's start, pause. Oh, there's, okay, Angry Birds. We got Angry Birds. Let's try that one out. The classic iPhone game, Angry Birds. So it's Angry Birds, NES ROM hack or homebrew Angry Birds. Okay. Boom. Got them all. All right, enough of that. Let's, let's, we only got 268 games here. Let's check it out. Angry Birds, Super Contra, Super Mario B, so Super Mario Bros, Adventure Island. I mean, so, like, some wonk, but then, like, I'm assuming this is Super Mario Bros. Is it, it's, it says Super Mario B. Yeah, it is. Let's see how this looks. Sped up a little bit. Um, the buttons are reverse. <laughs> this is not A. Wow. And these two are turbo. Wow, so you gotta, it's NES games, but the buttons are backwards. Screams quality right there. Let me double check, let me get a flower. Okay, that's standard B button. That's, it's 
turbo jump, turbo shoot. Yeah, they got the buttons backwards, man. Their packaging hypes this shit up big time. Okay, let's look at what else we got. Road Fight, 90 Tank, Chojiku U, Brush Roller, Galaga Bubble. Let's find some, some boo-boo-ness. They gotta have the bootleggy games on here. Right? So far it just looks like legit naming. Where's the arcade games? Santa Claus. All right, my interest has peaked. Copyright 2004, so it's a some kind of homebrew. Oh, I'm catching shit. Santa Claus is throwing junk at you. Why am I catching it? That's that's what I want to know. Ghost Palace? What, are, what are, Some of these are just generic names for stuff, but they didn't go like crazy with the naming. Donkey Kong? There's like a hum to that, that mono speaker back there. Oh, do you hear that? Is that how he normally sounds when he jumps? It sounds sad. Is that how he sounds? <laughs> Contest 2004. What is this shit? Ninja Coon. Finding Nemo. Mario Storm. What is that? Now we might be getting into the uh, hokey stuff. There we go. They do this a lot. They'll, um have like ROM hacks and multiple games over and over again. It's just they start on different levels. That's like pretty much all it is. This is not anything special. Eating fists. Eat. Tin. Eat tin tug. Okay. Fish war. Oh, I just got eaten. Eat the smaller fish. Eh, that's stupid. Yeah, there's a lot of nonsense on here. Super Galaga. What the hell is Super Galaga? Moonwalker? Is that Michael Jackson? Stargate. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and tear this thing down. See what to do with it. I'm gonna take the batteries out though. All right, let's do it. Phillips head, okay. Now we got in there some quality stuff right here. Oh wow, the board is like screwed on there too. Let's get that all out of here. So that right there is the uh, CPU, there's the screen. Kind of messed up the uh, cable a little bit. I'm taking this apart. We got a little bit of repairs to do to get this back working. Look at these little crappy, uh, freaking, freaking, uh, <laughs> membranes. That's, oh, that's why everything was like pushing on each other. Look at that. What the hell is that? All right, we're going to get this thing, uh, reassembled and, um, you know, Start playing it occasionally. 